Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here, and my trusty apprentice, Braxton. You know, just in case anybody was wondering, Braxton actually works with me full time, and uh, he goes to school, uh, obviously at night time, so he's doing online night school, and he's here in shop five days a week, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, however many hours, four or five hours, eight hours, however many hours we work, he's here learning and checking things out and so i am absolutely grateful for braxton he's pretty awesome so shout out to braxton and uh what he is doing right now is he is polishing some cam lobes so we are working on a 2014 jeep cherokee it has as you can see underneath the hood in case you're looking for yours it has a 3.2 liter engine in it and it came to us with multiple cylinder misfires, and then it also had a cylinder number two specific misfire. It just was not running correctly or anything like that. So we ended up diagnosing it, and we decided to go ahead and replace the, obviously the front and rear valve cover gaskets, upper and lower intake gaskets, spark plugs and coils, and all the other good stuff to, to have it properly serviced. So, we got the front half of the engine done with the valve cover and all that, and we're getting ready to do the intake and all that other good stuff, and so we went ahead and uninstalled the rear valve cover, and as we got the rear valve cover uninstalled, we noticed that there was all kinds of rust and sediment built up on the cam lobes on the camshafts, if you can see that there, and there. Okay, we've actually done a good job so far to clean it up. Okay, you got some there. So, whatever you do, try not to touch that too much. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it actually made us stop and go, what the heck is going on? Because on the front of the engine, we didn't have uh, any of that. It was really clean. But obviously on the back of the engine, as you can see, we had all this buildup and sediment. There was also signs of moisture and coolant mixing as we had that coffee-colored mixture underneath this valve cover. Okay, and so it took me a little bit to kind of explain that. I actually checked with some other shops uh, that I know, and they said, we've never seen anything like that. We're not real sure what to tell you. And actually, I had not seen anything like that, where just one side of the engine is contaminated with what looks like coffee creamed coolant and oil mixing. So, you know, just did some research. I go back through the engine and I'm looking for the needle in the haystack, and what I found was the PCV valve, okay? And the PCV valve was completely caked and clogged up with our moisture, coolant, uh, oil mixture, the coffee color mixture. Now you're, now you're probably wondering, well, how is that possible? Okay, so what I found is what is happening is this PCV valve and the PCV system, which is the positive crankcase ventilation system, which to keep it simple is in charge of regulating the atmosphere inside of the engine, was clogged up. And because the PCV system, positive crankcase ventilation system, was clogged up, it was not moving the atmosphere through the engine properly, allowing moisture buildup. So that's actually not coolant, it's moisture buildup due to the PCV valve not working properly. Now had we not caught that and we allowed that to go on, it would have absolutely destroyed this engine. And I found out that it's actually a thing with these engines. Jeep knows about it, Chrysler, you know, everybody, they all know about it. And so bottom line is, if you're ever having an issue with your, from what I understand, 2000, uh, 2010, 2011 on up to present day 3.2 liter engine and you're getting moisture in your engine, it could mimic and mock itself like maybe you have a bad head gasket and you're mixing coolant and oil, but you're actually not. It's the PCV system that's clogged up 
And so the atmosphere in the engine is incorrect and it's allowing moisture buildup and it's not clearing that moisture out. So at first we were a little concerned that we were going to have to get a hold of this owner and say, hey, uh, we need to get new camshafts and all that. But we went ahead and took a little bit of a chance with some fine, fine grit emery paper. And, you know, honestly, just ever so slightly taking our time. We're not putting any pressure on the cam. I'll find one here and Braxton's going to demonstrate for you. We'll do it on this one. Literally not even, you know, if anything, just using our fingers for control. And we're just polishing it off, just taking our time. Now, right now, it looks like nothing is happening. And for quite a while while you're doing this, it looks like nothing is happening. But with a little bit of patience, relentless, persevering through it, uh, you can absolutely polish this up and clean it up and save it. You don't have to replace your camshafts, I don't think. Everything should be okay. So, yep, see, there you go. It's already starting to look beautiful again. So we're glad we will be able to save this. We're just gonna need a little bit more time, no big deal. That's how we do things here. We won't tack on a big bill for getting through this. And um, I believe at this point, this has been an underlining, an underlying culprit for a lot of other issues that this vehicle has been having. And I don't think anybody has yet to flag or catch this in the history of this. So now that we've flagged and catch that and we're changing that along with all new plugs and, and ignition coils and all the other good stuff, this vehicle should be nice and reliable when we're done with it. So, so there you go, folks. There's some information on the Jeep Cherokee with the 3.2 liter V6 engine in it. PCV valve and system can get clogged up, causing moisture buildup in the engine, causing what would look like a blown head gasket and coolant and oil mixture, but it's actually just moisture buildup and oil mixture. So. And if you end up like us and find that you've got sediment and buildup on the cam lobes, it absolutely looks like you can get away with just polishing them very carefully and meticulously. So, alrighty folks, well, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Um, if you have any questions about your project, shoot them to us in the comments. I love the community that we've developed here where there's actually other mechanics involved and people are answering other people's questions. And we're all sharing knowledge. We think that's super cool. So, so definitely ask your questions. Definitely share the knowledge. If you're just now coming to the community, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, and Braxton signing off, guys.